Now these are very cool. They're one of the hottest gifts this holiday season. Hundreds of thousands of drones are expected to be sold this month, and they now face some government regulation. We've been reporting this that starting today, those who own drones will have to register them with the Federal Aviation Administration. But with the new rules for this in-demand gadget, one entrepreneur is finding big opportunity. Mary Thompson reports from the New Jersey Drone Academy in Ringo's, New Jersey. Drones getting plenty of buzz this holiday. The FAA forecasting Americans will buy 800,000 recreational drones in the fourth quarter, an estimate that has New Jersey Drone Academy owner Jim Barnes bracing for a post-Christmas rush. I'm expecting probably next year, uh, before June, probably up to 500 students. That's a big increase from the 71 students Barnes taught after opening the academy this spring. He's moving to a bigger space, turning a former driving range into a netted facility where come April, anyone over 14 can take a series of classes on drones. They will learn to safely how to build, program, and fly a drone. 15-year-old Owen Ford is a former student and a longtime fan of these unmanned aerial systems. I really liked the strangeness about it. I liked how it was outlandish, and I kind of went in the hobby from there. With interest in drones soaring, the FAA is taking action to make sure our skies remain safe. Federal workers visited big box retailers selling drones to educate workers on how to operate them properly. And starting today, owners need to register their drones or face civil penalties of over $27,000 and criminal penalties of up to a quarter of a million dollars. The FAA sees the registration process as a way to educate users on how to fly safely and within the laws of the land, like keeping drones below 400 feet and five miles from an airport. Hobbyists will learn those lessons at the academy, but that's not the only audience it's targeting. Barnes partnering with Professor Mike Schumer of the New Jersey Institute of Technology to conduct research with drones and to train first responders on how to operate them. They can permit first responders to communicate much faster. They make decisions faster. And if they can make decisions faster, the likelihood of saving lives is there. Barnes also working with the Jersey City School System on a program to get kids out of the classroom into the field so they can put drones in the air expecting the sky's the limit when it comes to the future of drones. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Mary Thompson in Ringo's, New Jersey.